Hello everyone, it's me Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make your own diesel oxygen meter. Diesel oxygen meter measures the diesel oxygen of any liquid and is generated by milligram per liter. Recently, I purchased an analog diesel oxygen sensor from DF Robot. So you can see this is a gravity analog diesel oxygen meter kit from DF Robot. This is a low power diesel oxygen meter with galvanic from that works between 3.3 volt to 5 volt. It has a replaceable membrane cap at the top with a simple VNC connector to signal connector board. We will learn how oxygen gets mixed in water or the source of oxygen. We will also learn about the principle behind diesel oxygen meter and its partial pressure as well as the oxygen concentration in water. Then, using a sodium hydroxide crystal and water, we will make a filling solution for the probe. This solution is filled in membrane cap and used with the sensor. The method for filling the solution as well as the quantity of the solution and its strength is also explained in this video. And finally, we will learn a method for calibrating the sensor. When the calibration factor is known, we will make our own diesel oxygen meter using an Arduino board and OLED display. This diesel oxygen meter can be used in aquaculture, aquatic life, environmental monitoring and for laboratory application. So, without getting any delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by NextPCV. Come and check the Halloween activity from NextPCV Daily Points collection. Just log into your NextPCV account daily, you will get 20 points that are equivalent to 10 USD for the first login. Then. You can cure the order by selecting the required PCV quantity and other details. Select your country for shipment and place an order. After that, upload your cover file and bill of materials and submit an order. After successful payment at the original price, you can get points equal to the product amount. That is, 2 USD equals to 1 point. So you can see I have 20 points. Also, you can see I have the $10 coupon that will benefit me in discount. This discount will be added while doing the payment. Such a great offer during this Halloween. So this is the courier from DF Robot sent through FedEx a couple of days ago. I received it after one week. The package looks very large but weighs very little. So now let me open the packet and check what is inside the box. So here we go, it is having another box that contains the sensor kit. This is a gravity analog diesel oxygen sensor kit that can be used for Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and ESP8266 or ESP32. Well, inside the package we have multiple tools that need to be assembled together. So I can see there are 4 to 5 different units. This is a diesel oxygen sensor probe that works at 3.3 volt or 5 volt. The output voltage is 3.3 volt and has the ability to measure the diesel oxygen from 0 to 20 mg per liter. At the top of the sensor, there is a membrane cap that is removable and replaceable. This is a galvanic type probe whose working will be explained later in this video. Galvanic diesel oxygen sensors consist of two electrodes, an anode and cathode. Both of these electrodes are immersed in electrolytes. An oxygen permeable membrane separates the anode and cathode from the measured water. This chemical reaction produces an electrical signal which is measured by Arduino. The cable length is 2 meter and has a BNC connector at the end. The signal converted board also has a BNC connector which can be directly be connected to galvanic probe. The signal converter board basically amplifies the minor voltage difference to a readable signal that can be detected by Arduino. The signal converter board is plug and play and has good compatibility. On another end, it has three pins connectors with VCC, Z and D and analog output pin. Using the three pin connector, the sensor can be directly connected to any microcontroller unit. The signal connector board takes 98% full response with 90 seconds. The oxygen permeable membrane in the membrane cap is sensitive and fragile. 
Use caution when handling it. Fingernails and other sharp objects should be avoided. This is a membrane cap which needs to be maintained every 1 to 2 months in muddy water and 4 to 5 months in clean water. The solution replacement period is every 1 month. So this is the link from where you can buy the sensor at a cheap price. From the Have Robot official website, the sensor will cost around $169. The documentation and details of the sensors are very nicely explained here. And if you are staying in the USA or Europe, you can directly purchase the sensor from Amazon. It will cost you around $180. And if you are watching this video from India, you can directly purchase it from the website called ThinkBits. It will cost around $15,000. Now let's learn about the principle behind the oxygen measurement. Oxygen penetrates the liquid in different ways, for example, through oxygen-producing plants, waves, or a gas exchange with the atmosphere. At the water surface, the oxygen molecules migrate from atmosphere into the water and vice versa. Once the oxygen is in the water, it distributes evenly to achieve uniform distribution in space. A galvanic type sensor usually consists of a gold cathode, also called a working electrode, and a silver anode, the counter electrode. The DC voltage is applied to both the electrode. The cathode and anode are both located in a reaction chamber that is filled with an electrolyte. A reaction chamber is separated from a medium by a membrane. This porous membrane allows the dissolved oxygen to diffuse into the sensor. When a sensor is immersed in a medium containing oxygen, the difference in the partial pressure of the oxygen between the inner and the outer membrane walls lead to the diffusion of oxygen through the membrane. The diffused oxygen is reduced at the gold cathode in the reaction chamber, resulting in a current flow that is proportional to the amount of transformed oxygen. The current is processed by the signal connector board and displayed as oxygen concentration, partial pressure, or a percentage saturation. Now let us prepare the solution for filling the membrane cap. The solution is prepared using sodium hydroxide and water. The normality of the solution should be 0.5 normal, so you need a few grams of sodium hydroxide and a measuring cylinder. To prepare a 0.5 normal solution, add 20 gram sodium hydroxide crystal to 1 liter of water. As the sodium hydroxide solution has a strong corrosivity, protective gloves should be put on before handling the solution. If the solution accidentally drops onto the skin, wash your skin with plenty of water immediately. After mixing the NOH with water, stir it so that the sodium hydroxide completely dissolves in water. A lot of heat is produced during this process, so let it cool down before using it. Now let us prepare the probe. We need to fill a 0.5 mole per liter NO solution to 2 by 3 volume of the cap. For that, first unscrew the membrane cap from the probe. Now, use this pressure filling pipe to fill the membrane cap. Carefully screw the cap back to the probe. It will be nice if a little bit of solution overflows out of the cap to ensure the probe is fully filled with NOH solution. The best way is to fill about 2 by 3 volume of the cap. A little bit of overflow when screwing the cap back to the probe is okay. Clean the overflowed solution with the tissue. Make sure the probe is in vertical position with respect to horizontal plane. When the probe is filled with NOH solution, it needs to be calibrated. Before calibration, please connect the probe as shown in the following diagram. Connect the probe to the BNC connector on the signal converter board. Connect the board to the analog input of the Arduino Uno board. So here is how I am assembling the complete package to the single unit. First, connect the signal connector board to the probe. Then, a 3-pin connector is connected. Connects its VCC to 3.3 volt 
connects its GND to ZND and analog out to A1 of Arduino. Once the connection is done, it's time to calibrate the sensor. So for calibration, the room temperature should be 25 degrees Celsius. So I'm adjusting the room temperature. Once the temperature of the room reaches 25 degrees, you can start the calibration process. So fill normal water in a glass of measuring flask. There are multiple methods of calibration like single point calibration and two point calibration. You can follow any method. I selected the single point calibration method. In this method, only calibrate the saturated dissolved oxygen at a fixed temperature. This is suitable for use when the temperature is stable. After probe preparation, wet the probe in pure water and shake off excess water drops. Expose the probe to the air and maintain proper airflow. Please don't use a fan to blow. So let's see the calibration code now. This is the header file and a reference voltage of 5V is set along with a 10-bit ADC resolution of 1024. Using this formula, we are calculating the output voltage. So select the Arduino board that you are using and also select the board then upload the code. Check the serial monitor. After the output voltage is stable, record the voltage which is the saturated is of oxygen voltage at the current temperature. In my case, I can see the stable voltage after the probe is completely dry. The stable voltage is around 131 millivolt. Now the sensor is ready to measure the dissolved oxygen value. So put the sensor back to the water. And let's see the final code now. We are defining the A1 pin as an output pin. If you are going for single point calibration, then set this line as 0. Else, if you selected 2 point calibration, set this mode as 1. The default room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. In this following line, change this voltage parameter with the calibrated value that you got recently. Leave all the parameters as it is. This is a temperature based oxygen calibration table in an array format. The value of dissolved oxygen increases or decreases as per the temperature. So in this table, you can see the value of dissolved oxygen from a temperature of 16 degrees Celsius to 47 degrees Celsius. Then we are defining parameters like temperature, ADC raw value, voltage and dissolved oxygen value. Using this formula, all the parameter value is calculated. The second formula is ignored due to the mode selection at the initial code. Under the loop function, you can check we are printing all the defined parameters on serial monitor. Well, now you can upload the code to the Arduino board, then open the serial monitor. So you can see the value of temperature, ADC raw and ADC voltage along with the dissolved oxygen value in microgram per liter. To convert that to a milligram per liter, divide the value by 1000. Now let us make a portable dissolved oxygen meter. For that, we need to add an OLED display to the board. The OLED display is connected through I2C pin that is SCL and SDA. So here is the final dissolved oxygen meter. The dissolved oxygen is measured in terms of milligram per liter and is displayed on OLED display. I have modified the code after making this video where you can display up to two digits after the decimal point. The code is simple again. There is no change in the code. We have only added a few lines related to SSD 1306 OLED library. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.